hello friends i'm faraz and in today's video we are going to see that how to find the min and the max value using power query this is applicable for my friends those who use power query in excel and power bi so let's go and see the things in action so this is our sales data set for all the countries and we just like to extract the highest sales value from this data set or the lowest one from this data set the steps remains the same if you follow one you get another one so let's go and quickly see these things in the query editor by the way my data is already loaded into the query editor i'll just go and open that query and our data set is over here and we are just going to simply select the sales amount column go to filter and number filters and we can't find that option for the highest or the lowest one it would be more convenient that if we have that option but we have a very simple trick to do that but before that if you like this idea i have already raised an request on excel user voice so if i get maximum number of votes then maybe the excel team can come up and build that option over here so feel free to check that idea and make sure that you vote for it so coming back over here, let's say that I, if I change the data type to a whole number and still if I go over here and check the number, I don't find any kind of changes over here. So let us go and select any value over here. Let's say I have selected 219. Now, as you can see in the formula bar, it has table select rows and that goes to a specific column that sales amount equals to 219. Before I straight away go and start writing and altering this M code over here, I would be showing that what is happening behind the scenes in that M code. And if your formula bar is not enabled, you can go to the view, make sure that your checkbox is enabled. So let's go to our queries and I'm going to make a duplicate query of this one. And let's close this for time being. So this is our test query. So I just don't want to mess it up somewhere. So I'm going to go and add a new step. So now what we are going to do is we are going to call the source step over here. So let's go and call source, enter. So what query is doing that it's going back and getting this step, which is over here, the source step. So if I select that change type step, if I say hash change type step, it will go and bring that change type step over here. So as you can see, it's available over here. So let me go back to the source one, source, enter. And now from the source step, we would just like to select the column. So let's say that this column is the sales amount and I have opened the box bracket, sales amount. It should be exactly the same name. Now it has selected that sales amount column and converted into a list. Now we have an amazing function in Power Query called list.max and that's the one. And let's open and close parentheses, enter. So we got an error over here and this is very obvious one, which I have seen many users, they don't follow the syntax of the Power Query. Power Query is case sensitive, my friends, so remember that it should be written exactly, the function should be written exactly. So list, maybe I'm writing it in small letters, list.max, and I'm going to click tab, and that's the way you should write it, because capital L dot capital M. Close parentheses, enter, and we got this highest value over here. And now if I call this as min, M-I-N, min, that's perfect, so I got the lowest value over here so let's check to the max value enter and we are just going to copy this construction of the formula and let's say so we are coming to our sales data and in the sales data table which we have seen the step filter row in this place which we have 219 we are just going to paste that function what we have created that formula enter and we got that highest value. So similar way, if I turn this one into min again, min, enter, we got the lowest one. 
so this is really dynamic my friends so let's put it back to max enter so we got our max value so you might think that every time do i need to go and call the source step no it's not necessary my friends i could have gone to the change type step and i could have referenced it from there as well so let's say that if your uh, source was like it was not going referencing it to the source it was referencing it to the change type so now in the change type i could just select the change type and make sure that i press enter so now it is referencing it to the change type not to the source one so in case if you have multiple step you can reference it to that specific step get that lowest or the max value and then you can apply it in your filter let's go close and load and i have this data set over here load to and we're going to load that table and let's see into the existing worksheet yes of course and we have the sweden so let's test it out uae 493 and let's go right click refresh and we get the results for the uae so that's how you find the min and the max value in the power query and keep it dynamic now just to add it my friends that this is not the only way you can do it there are some other ways also you can find the min and the max value which can be done without using the m functions and i'll be showing you that in the next video so all you have to do you know the drill make sure that you hit the like button share it subscribe it and let me know in the comment sections your thought till then take care see you soon bye